Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, Greg. That's me. I'm Ashlyn, and I'm married to Paul. Hey, that's me. And I'm Kyle. I'm Lauren. So, I'm Evan. I'm Jaden. And I'm Brooklyn. I'm Autumn. I'm Jensen. Hi, I'm Madeline. Hi, Steve. And, and we're, we're the Marriott's. Welcome to our large family vlog. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, today is the first day I've started recording since Saturday. So I know you guys know nothing about that because my videos will keep uploading and you'll just see them day after day and you'll like, oh, no big deal, no big, like you won't miss a day. But I know some of you have commented and said, where have you been? We had no power. We had a storm come through this past weekend and on Saturday night, it was supposed to start raining and drizzling. I didn't really, they said maybe turn to ice. I wasn't thinking like really anything about it. So I just went to bed thinking like we'd wake up and go to church and no big deal. Well, we woke up, well, middle of the night, the power went out. So I was like, oh, it's my so not favorite. <laughs> and so we woke up and I was like, okay. And then I got up in the morning and it was like ice everywhere, like an ice storm. And we've had the snowstorms. I haven't had too much ice storm since we've moved here. And so everything was just coated with ice about a quarter there was about a quarter sheet of ice when we went to bed at night and i thought well maybe it'll turn to rain well no it just turned to more ice so we got up in the morning no power and the deck was just covered with ice there was just icicles hanging down our table and our grill and then um i was we were supposed to go to church because we go to church and serve and i was like oh yeah i cannot get down my driveway it is just like a sheet of ice and so we didn't go, we stayed home, and I was like, oh, so bummed, because I really enjoy going to church on Sunday. So we stayed home Sunday, no power. And so, um, and then the sun, it, well, the sun didn't come out, but it rained a little bit, so it kind of melted that ice. And so I was like, okay, that's a good thing. At least we can leave and get out. And so my husband went out later in the afternoon and got us, because um, we just did, I was like, you know, first thought is, freezers are full, refrigerators are full. Nobody touched them, <laughs> because, if you just leave it, it'll stay cooler. And so I was like, okay, I just got done with my once a month grocery haul, my once a month freezer prep. And I was like, ah, is this gonna be good? It's gonna be great. And I'm like, okay, God, you've got this. I'm not gonna stress. So we opened the one refrigerator and I wasn't even thinking the night before to like take, we had had all our milk in the small one and I just left that one shut. And I was like, well, we have enough stuff in the, the bigger refrigerator. So I just emptied the big refrigerator and I was like, okay, we'll use what we have here. So we had some, some almond milk and we had cereal. And so the kids ate cereal. I was gonna plan that for the month, but we've been eating that for the last couple days. So we had that and then I was like, okay, we just pull out some snacks and munchies for lunch and veggies and cheese and crackers, things like that. And then uh, my husband went and got pizza for us and then we got our text that we were sending to our power company and I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna come on tonight, it's gonna come on tonight. No, it did not come on that night. And so we went all day Sunday with no power. And then, um, and it was fine, we did fine. The kids, we all had a great time. We played games, we all read some stories and we just chilled and just hung out together, which was really nice. And so then um, Monday rolled around and I was like, okay, no power again. <laughs> So it's like it was supposed to come on like midnight that Monday night. And so I was like, mm, okay, I'm like, well, let's plan it all day. I'm like, let's just have a normal day. So we kind of, kind of picked up. If you look at my house right now, you would not even think we picked up, but it did pick up. You know, I liked it when I got Sunday night, I was like, let's pick up before it gets too dark in the house. And so about five o'clock, it was starting to get dark. So we kind of cleaned up all the Legos. So nobody fell on those, all the kids toys on the floor. And then um, we had our fireplace. Thank goodness the fireplace guy came out, fixed our fire. Um, the week before, so I was very thankful for that. So we had that, so we, we were heated with our fire, which was nice, and we have our big giant jugs of water, and then um, my husband was able to run down to our local gas station um, store and fill up more water, which is great. They have a spigot outside, and I said, oh yeah, absolutely, you can fill up, so very good, very good community like that. And so he was able to get water, so it was no big deal, and the food, we had pizza, I was like, it was yummy and good, and then um, we were, it's freezing outside, so we put all of our refrigerator food outside, um, and I just covered it, I put it in my coolers, and then I put um, baskets out there, and then I just covered it with big thick towels and another blanket because I was afraid it was gonna freeze and I didn't want my veggies freezing. I'm like, I probably could have left them in the house, but no big deal, I stuck them outside, so just cover so they don't freeze. And then, um, so we got up and I was like, okay, we're gonna have a normal day. So we got up, we did our chores as much as we could, which, I was going to record. I was like, ooh, I should do a vlog of what to do when the power goes out when you got nine people or 11 people in the household. I'm like, oh, no, it was not. It was okay. It was like, but it was, it was darker in here because it wasn't super bright. So I thought, well, I was washing dishes over here. I had square little containers, like a Tupperware container, my rectangle ones. I had two of those. I had one. I boiled some water in the stove, poured some in there with soap, and then I had another one for rinse. And so we had a whole sink full of dishes. And I was like, I always have paper plates on hand usually. And I thought I had plastic cups, but obviously I do not have plastic cups. I have mini ones. 
but I was like, we are out of cups here. I don't even know how we are out of cups, but we were. So I got them, um, I washed all the dishes. I washed them there and then Lauren put them all away for me and then I'm like, okay, cool, dishes are done. It took a lot longer, but I got them finished. And then um, we swept and picked up as best we could. And then we did some school, which was nice. And so we got all our school done. And then I told my husband, I said, why don't, um, we go out so we went i wanted to get some of my videoing done because youtube is an income for our family which is nice we don't have to have the income but it is a nice extra income and so i was like let me go to the library and get some video work done because i do have some business deals and some partnerships and stuff that i have to do and i was like i gotta get these done and so I was, he's like, why don't I take you to the library and you can charge your devices and work on your thing and then he'll take the kids into town. And so I'm like, oh, that'd be really good. So we went to our library, which was awesome. I called in there, they have power. So we went there, Evan and I went there, he did some school online and I sat and worked on a video, which was great. And then um, he took the kids into town and they went and got, um, just went dollar store, run around and basically go to the music store, just killing time with daddy, which was great. And then he, and I was there for about two hours, which was really nice. And then he picked me up and I said, okay, it's, it was close to five and it was funny. We were at the library and we saw all these power trucks coming in. I mean, like there was probably 20, 30, like the electrical, not the power company, but another company because they had anybody that came in to help for the disaster in the area. And so they just kept going, going in and I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, come, go to my house and fix my power. And so, but they were, they were doing a lot of work. There was, I mean, when we were driving to our library, there were so many trees down, like we had, our house was so protected. There was branches and trees that dropped down on our side, behind our house, in front of our driveway. There's a big giant tree that dropped as well. I was like, and we were laying in bed at night. You could just hear the ice chunks dropping on the house. And you're like, okay, okay, Lord, your protection. I know I've got your protection, not gonna worry. And so, um, so I'm very thankful nothing happened. Our whole house is protected. We were safe, but all around, there's just trees down. There's trees down the road. There was trees down, I mean, everywhere. And so there was, we were driving and you could see the power lines where they had burned like a black mark on where they dropped down. And so I was like, oh my goodness. And so, so many trees down, it's, it was crazy. So the power, the trucks were just pulling in and then they were doing their switch for their shift and then they were going back out. And so we, I was like, oh my goodness. And so we were in there and a lady was like, oh, they got power up my mountain. And I was like, oh, you're like three mountains away from me. And I was like, okay, hopefully ours is on, but it wasn't on yet, but that's okay. We're further, we're like one of the ends of the county because right, our, it's our, we're like the last exit and then it's South Carolina. And so I'm like, we're probably one of the last ones. I know there's a little bit further down people too. So I was like, it'll be okay. So then we're like, let's go to the park. I told my husband, he's like, do we just go home? And I said, no, let's go to the park. We'll run because we're gonna go home. It's only five and we're gonna just sit all night until the power comes on. And so we went to the park and it was freezing, freezing, but I'm like, let's do it. So we, we went over there and I wish I would've took a picture because there was just all these power trucks lined up like at the park and down the road and I was like oh my goodness there were so many and so I'm sure they were tired from working around the clock and so very thankful you know that they were out restoring the power and so we did the park we just did about half the time that we normally do but we still we did good getting some exercise because I'm like let's just get out and do something so we ran a few times just to get out and then we came home and I, um, I cooked some rice so we had rice and then I opened up some cans of chili beans and so we had um, rice, just plain rice with some canned chili beans over top and that was dinner and the kids were like, wow, this is really delicious. My husband's like, I don't know if it's because I'm so hungry or what. I'm like, I know we need to be starving all the time and then we can appreciate canned beans and rice. <laughs> so it was fine. So we ate that for dinner last night and then um, he was busy. He filled up our water jugs and so he was flushing toilets because there's a lot of us using toilets. And so um, he's like, honey, our water's all gone. And so he went back down and um, and filled up the waters again before the night because it was supposed to come on that night. And I said, he said, well, I'll go fill them up just in case. So he filled those up and then he got back home. And he's like, oh, there's power. He goes, they're down the road here working and they're down at the other road work at the other end of our street. So I'm like, yay. So we were anticipating power coming back on. So, so it was good. So we sat and played the kids. We pulled the Legos and we sat where they were building Lego things. And then um, the older kids and I, we played Candyland. Well, older kids, the younger ones with the older ones, we played Candyland for a while. And then we pulled out um, our Dutch blitz game and started playing that and so that was fun and then we were just sitting there and then boom all the lights came on and we were like hallelujah that one moment you're like power and so it was so nice <laughs> so i was like okay first thought was i did not my freezers 
you know I've got a lot of food in my freezers, but I know God and I know God's promises. And I stuck to Malachi 3 6 about retiring and God protecting your storehouses. And so my storehouse is my pantries and my freezers. So I know that even though the enemy wants to come and destroy and steal things from me, that God is my protector. And so I was like, my freezers are going to be fine. So I did not touch my freezers at all did not open them the one that has the ice in it up here the big one the, you could tell there was water coming out the front of it and I was like that's the ice cubes melting and I was like okay it's gonna be fine so we waited we turned loud obviously the power came on we let it you know get cold again and then we just opened up the refrigerator filled the stuff all back in here and all of our stuff outside was fine and then I um, opened up our small freezer and everything was still frozen solid we had one little container of whip topping and that thawed so that's okay because Lauren was gonna use that this week and so that was the only thing everything else was still a solid frozen block which was awesome and so then I opened up the big refrigerator freezer and I was and everything was frozen the only thing was at the top shelf because all the ice is at the top it melted and dripped on it so I had a couple bags of spinach that I had taken from my refrigerator and put like in a bag and then froze it solid that kind of um you could tell it wilted because it was you know looked like regular frozen spinach so I just took that and threw that away but everything else was frozen still which was awesome and so that was since Saturday night Saturday night Sunday night so two whole days nothing even touched in there and then we went downstairs it's my coffee pot it beeps to let me know it's need more coffee no I'm just kidding beeps to let me know it's shutting off and so um, the downstairs, then we went down and checked our downstairs freezer and everything was still frozen solid. So I was like, that's right. It's like, don't doubt God. It's like, God will take care of you. So very thankful. So nothing went bad, which was awesome. And I know you get a window of, we have gone 72 hours, three days in the summertime. And if you don't touch your freezers at all, they will, they might freeze thaw a little bit but they should stay frozen so remember that rule three days and you should be good and so it was just two days and if you keep them shut and it was cold so it's not going to be that you know it was, I wasn't worried about too much so very good but today it means I got up and I was like okay I got lots to do today well not lots yes lots lots of cleaning too I just did all my cleaning last week I feel like I gotta do a lot today so I've got dishes because I, I filled up my sink last night because we had water and I was like hmm, I just didn't feel like washing them so I have a sink full of dishes right there I'm probably just gonna put those in the dishwasher and then we have to pick everything up because there's stuff all there's water jugs everywhere I've got packages that came I got my um, bedding came so I'm excited to try that out and use that and then um, and just go through and clean and laundry lots of laundry lots of laundry so I will be doing that today and then we'll be making a home-cooked meal because we've had you know, rice and beans which is good <laughs> so it'll be a good day so today we're gonna catch up on all that stuff and then um, it's gonna be nice the next couple days we're supposed to have like 45 50 degree weather so I'm like thank you Jesus so we're gonna get out and go to the park and then we're gonna do um, cause Jensen got his new bike and we were supposed to we were gonna come home last night and pick it up and let him ride yesterday but it was getting dark so I said well let's just we'll just go and play and so we're gonna go park and today and we should have the next couple days and then I think we're gonna have rain again and then another supposed to be like freezing cold weather again this weekend I don't know so I'm gonna prepare a little bit better I'm gonna fill my tub with water this time for dumping toilets no big deal I mean we can always run out but in case we can we can dump that so it's gonna be a good day so I'm excited so I'm gonna get all of our household stuff done and then I'm going to get my my bed taken care of because I put I think the last video I'm trying to think because it's been a few days the last video I'm gonna I talked about putting my sheet on my bed and doing the pleats with the king sheet I just didn't I put it on my bed but I didn't get to do anything to it because the power went out and so I'll probably do that today and then get my um comforter the new comforter but uh, what is it called bedspread bedspread on top of it and see if I like that so hopefully I'll do it all on video and then if I don't like it I'll be like <laughs> failure but at least I got it on video and we'll see if it works so okay so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do laundry I'm gonna actually start picking my kitchen works best to go in a pattern here get my kitchen done move to the dining room and then I'll go do my bathroom and bedroom and work back out this way and then the kids will be up and then we'll be doing our get breakfast and school and all the fun thing that goes with a normal household day so you can keep watching
Okay, so I wanted to give you a little update on my bed. I told you that I would give you one a week later and tell you what we think of our new bed mattress. And so we had just had the other one. I told you which one we had on there before, the old, just simple, plain, inexpensive, cheaper memory foam mattress. And it was okay, like I said, but when you rolled, you kind of like, I know my husband's side is a lot heavier than I am. His side has dipped down. This is on the old mattress, not the new one. And so like, I just don't feel it. And it's just, it's just not as comfy. I mean, it's okay. I'll sleep on anything, but it was not like dream comfort. Like what did the kids say? Squishy sand, a God cloud. And so now the new mattress is holding up and feeling really good. I'm excited because it's, it's up higher just because we have it on top of our other one. And so it is just like, it's comfy. It's just as comfy as when we got it. I was like, Hmm, what's my hubby gonna think of this one? And so he loves it. He says it's comfy and good and nice and soft and like it doesn't move. You don't feel the other person on the other side of the bed, any of that. And so it's just a comfy bed. It's like, I feel like this is a good thing. So for those of you that need a new mattress, I know I'm sure there's a bunch out there and we've like, we've you only know what people tell you, right? That's how it works. And so I know our other one, it's like it was cheaper and expensive. We had it and it was like, okay, it was good. You know, it's a mattress. It's better than the box spring. Get that. But then now we have something that costs more and we're like, ooh, what is like a really nice mattress like compared to just the plain Jane simple one? And then I'm like, oh my goodness, this is way comfier. And so you just don't realize your comfort levels of sleep until you get something a little bit more nicer. And so you do pay, you do get what you pay for other cheaper one will set this. But if you wanna go a little bit more extravagant and you wanna have a little bit nicer, feeling comfier bed, then get this new one mattress from Lull. And so I know Evan likes his too, cause he's a he's a tall guy. He's you know, my Evan, he's like six feet tall. And so his other mattress was just okay. Just like sleeping on a regular uh, memory foam mattress. But this one's got that little pillow gel on top. And so it's a whole lot more comfier. So, so his mattress is super comfy too. So it's a good thing. So thank you Lull for, for supplying those mattresses for us for a review. We absolutely love them. So I'm loving them on my bed. I love it with my new mattress. We slept really good last night. I was thinking, I was like wondering with our new um, comforter, like I was thinking, cause it's a little cold outside. I was like, are we gonna be frozen in this bed at all? But it was actually really warm. So I think like that gel padding helps a whole lot while you're sleeping. So, okay, back to life. Okay, I had to change, not a new day. I was sweating, were you feeling the hotness? I was like, it is warm in here. So that just means it's gonna be a nice day today. So I'm thankful, so I have, I changed my shirt. I was like, that was just too hot, long sleeve and warm to wear. So got my Lula Row shirt on, my little standby that's nice and comfy. So I did all of my work. So a lot of you said, they see like, why are your kids not helping with the chores? What I like to do is all the chores on my own without kids awake because I can get a whole lot more done. And so now like I have just moved, like there was stuff out here that was there. So I've just moved it to a pile and I'm like, okay, that's the girls pile they're gonna put downstairs. The boys I put by their room. And so I'm like, I just have piles of things for them to do now, which is great. So that makes it easier on me. And like um, now they're gonna get up. I've got my breakfast burritos in the oven. That was one thing that thawed it was on top in my freezer over here with the, the spinach was breakfast burritos and the ice dripped on it. So it thought it was still cold. So I'm putting that in the oven today. So we're having those, which nothing goes to waste, which is great. So those are in the oven, they'll get a little crispy and those be yummy. So everybody will have a breakfast burrito for breakfast. And then um, they're gonna do their chores. So they'll put the dishes away, they'll sweep. I'll probably steam or wash the floor today because we didn't do it Monday. And then I'll have them do any extra chores like dusting from using the, um, fireplace it made a lot of dust in here for some reason i don't know why it does that but it did so we will dust today and it's normally a job they do actually it's a job they do on tuesday they do do that on tuesday brooklyn does so she's gonna clean upstairs with that and then we'll vacuum real good i got my bed all done i had to laugh i was like where are those pillowcases i remember like i get all my boxes and stuff because i get a lot of stuff for free shipped here and i just have it sitting there until i can open it and do something for you guys and so i was laughing i'm like where are those pillowcases at <laughs> so usually i don't let my kids open the boxes because i said i like to see them there and then i know that i have them while i let some buddy well i let lauren open a box but it wasn't the pillowcases it was evan's um i got a mattress protector because we got those new mattresses and i totally had forgot that um that was what it was and not a pillowcase so i'm like in my room going where are those pillowcases at? I can't finish my bed without pillowcases, but I forgot I did not get them yet. So they will come today. 
So my bedding, that's what I'll have left, will be my pillowcases. And so I took out the other ones to use as rags. And I'm like, wait a minute, I can't do that yet. So I'm like, it's all good. So that should come today in the mail, which will be nice. And then I'll have my bed complete and it's good. So my extra comforter I will take. We have, um, when people come and stay, I have one king size and one queen size comforter extra. And so I thought, well, I will just wash ours, let it hang outside today because it's going to be so nice. And then I'll fold it up and put it up in the closet. So if anybody comes, they can have an extra comfy blanket and then the... Um, sheet that I was gonna use as a bed skirt I'm gonna put down the garage for rags because they can use that and then um, I had that purple blanket Florence like mom that's so gaudy and I'm like I don't care nobody sees the inside of my bed she's like mom you need to have your bed look all picture perfect I'm like this is real life Lauren and so I had a cream size one up there so I just got the cream one down put that on my bed and got rid of the purple one yes I know Lauren she's good so now we have a nice cream one on there so again that it looks more picture perfect <laughs> But no big deal. I just used it forever. But the purple one did leave like fuzzies on stuff when I washed it. So that will go to the garage because they will use those for rags as well. And so now I'm done. So now the kids will get up, like I said, and they will take the rags to the garage, take the water jugs, put them away, deliver all their shoes, and then finish their chores up. So my jobs are done. So I, I don't do everything. My kids do do work. I just get my work done so I'm not inconvenienced by them, if that makes sense. Because I let them sleep in today because we had way weird schedule because of new year's of course but now it's because of the power out so they're gonna make their way up here and then i'm going to let them eat and we're gonna do school i got our school books out and so we are gonna do those and then um, lunch will be i have rice that i cooked and then we'll open up more cans of beans probably more than likely because that was good over top and we'll eat that with some veggies i got that broccoli and carrots i pulled that out i will pull that up for lunch and then um for snack i gotta eat some oranges as i was separating my oranges i noticed that some were yucky i just bought them but they were just some in the bag you know how you get some that are yucky so i'm gonna pull those out for snack today and then dinner i was looking i'm like what am i gonna do for dinner so tonight i think i'm gonna do my um chicken parmesan where you take the chicken patties and put that in the bottom of a baking pan I'll use my big giant one and then I'll put some cheese on top. I got provolone and then I will pour some sauce on top, which reminds me to get the spaghetti sauce out now because it's frozen and then we'll serve it over spaghetti noodles. So that'll be dinner. It's going to be an easy day. We're going to go to the park and get out. I got to go to my library again because I couldn't open the DVD player and get out some DVDs. <laughs> so I have to return those and then um, that'll be good. So I'm just thinking anything else exciting, but I did. You guys know I do products. Products are great. I love free things and I can always do something with them and pass them along to somebody. Well, I got one more free product here. And this doesn't, I don't make money off this stuff. This is their product. But I do, if they say, um, give my honest review on it. I thought this was a really, really cool idea. And so um, this company contacted me for a water bottle. And I was like, okay, a water bottle. I'm like, well, I love my water bottle. I've got my one from Aldi's. It's glass. It works good. It's like $5. It was good. I go through water bottles. We use them all the time for everything. But this one I thought was a genius idea. And so this is more of a get a gift for a new mom. So that's why I want to show this one with you guys. And so this is cool. Look at this. It says, keep calm, you're a super mom. And I'm like, oh, how cool is that? And so what it does, the coolest thing ever, it gets you to drink your water for the day. So you fill this up, because you're supposed to drink half your um, body weight in ounces. And so these are 24 ounces. I'm pretty sure they're 24 ounces because I know mine is 20, 30 ounces, 30 ounces. So figure this is 60 ounces. If you drink two of these um, a day, that's 120 pounds roughly. I mean, you can drink a little bit more if you're a little heavier. And so um, what it is, is you fill it up and then you drink it according to the number. So if you start right here, by seven o'clock, drink this much. <clears throat> Kitty cats, we're having a fight outside. Seven o'clock, drink this much. Nine o'clock, have this much. By 11, one, and then you refill it. And then you go to your afternoon. So by nighttime, this is gone. I thought this was a genius idea. It's not, um, it's got the rubbery top on the lid. It's just a regular plastic. It says BPA free lid, but and it's just got the little straw on the bottom, just a regular straw. Not like a heavy duty water bottle, but not like a cheapy, flimsy one crack. Like we've got some of the ones that'll just crack like nan inset ones. And those, you know, could crack too. But this is a little bit heavier. It's got the nice little my my lid is actually no. Steven's lid is like this, where it's just the flip top lid. Got a little hook so you can put your what are those things called? Carabiner. Carabiner hooks on it, hook it on your stroller or your deck bag. But this I thought would be a great 
gift idea. I was like, oh, do I do a water bottle? I'm like, oh, I would because I saw it. And I thought this is a great thing because I know I struggle with trying to drink how much water I have to have. And I'll take my water and I usually in my mind go, okay, in the morning I have to have two of those before I have my coffee for the day. And so that's just how I base, <laughs> that's how I base my drinking on so that I know that I get that done that I have another one in the afternoon. I have three of mine because mine's only a 24 ounce one. So I drink three of those. But for a new mama who like, I know like our brains are mommy fried brains because we're having no sleep. I thought this was a genius idea. So go check out. I'm gonna um, put the link in the description. See if there's anything else exciting. Mm -mm. Nothing else exciting. Just to wash it, how to wash it, all that fun stuff. So, but I will put a link to this um, bottle in the description below. And thank you, Zemesis, Zemesis, I'm gonna say that wrong, Zemesis, for letting me do a product review for this. I just thought this was a great, fantastic idea because I'm like, mommies, we just never remember half the time to drink our water, so this is great to be able to drink it. So I know, like right now I'm looking at my clock, it's like, I should have my 9 a.m. done, and that would be really good, and then before 11, and then one, and then fill back up, and you go in the afternoon, three, five, seven, and nine, so genius idea i thought that was a, a brilliant idea to get this water bottle idea for mamas new mamas out there so keep calm your super mom and a good encouragement for mommies because you're sitting there and you're nursing your babies or feeding them with a bottle and you're like ah, tired tired from your days and sometimes you don't feel like you're doing anything you might watch these youtube videos and you'll see me flying around doing all this stuff and you're just like ah, how can she do all these things but if you look back Stephen is six seven eight years ago ten years ago I was the one sitting on the couch, drinking my water bottle, going, all these mommies do all these things, all these mommies do all these things, and I don't can, can't do anything. I can't even clean my windows. <laughs> so, fast forward, life gets better, and you can clean those windows, mama. It doesn't matter that they were dirty for years. It's okay, because my windows are cleaned out, but they weren't 10 years ago. So, good encouragement for mommies. Keep calm, you're a super mom, so great idea. So check out this product in the link in the description below. Get it for one of those new mamas that you have out there. I just thought, I just thought that was a great idea. So that's why I want to tell you to get that. So, okay, I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna go get my chicken down in the freezer, and then I'm gonna start making dinner. So that's finished. So we, the kids, can always get the kids up because they're tired, and I'm like, trying to wake up. I guess if I have, like, I have certain things I don't like to do, like sewing and um, ironing and waking kids up in the morning. That is my other thing I do not enjoy doing. And so yes, set an alarm for them, they could do it, but they're not always gonna wake up from the alarm. So I'm gonna go wake them up. I usually take Maxine with me and Maxine will go and like jump all over them. So I think we're gonna go do that, get them up, get them moving for their day. And then we are gonna have a good day getting stuff done and getting outside because it is sunshine and there's no ice and there is no rain. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so remember, water bottle, keep calm. You're a super mom, awesome thing. Let's go.
So for the chicken parmesan, all I did was put it in the pan and then topped it with, usually you can use mozzarella cheese, I have provolone cheese on each one. That'll be great if you don't have that much. You can stuff that pan full of chicken, cut the cheese in half and put it on, that's fine. I have plenty, so I'm gonna do it this way. I had a little bit of this from our pizza, so I used that on some of them, because some kids like that. The other was the spaghetti sauce that I froze, so I poured that on top, and then I'm gonna bake it at 350 for probably like 40 minutes, and then that'll be it, and then I'm filling up a pot of water right now, and mix with some spaghetti noodles. So that's gonna be dinner. I'm gonna pull out some salad. Lauren is actually gonna do a fondue dinner, because she, she loves fondue, and so, yeah, she got one for Christmas. That's what she got her for, a, for when she, her Hope Chest gift, which we'll talk about soon. So she did, hold on one second. So she got stuff because she had it over with Matthew at their family. And so she is actually going to do some, just some little foods. Like she got some steak. We took out a steak that she can cook. And then she got some, um, um, like, uh, breaded green pickles. So you can deep fry them, I guess. I don't know. I've never done the fondue. So we'll see. And then, um, I don't know what else she got. Taquitos and breaded green beans, too. So she's going to do those. And then she's going to do, like, a chocolate one with dessert for the kids. So it'll be interesting to try it with strawberries. It'll be delicious. So we'll all get to see Lauren's fondue pot along with Mommy's boring chicken parmesan dinner. <laughs> okay. Going to go finish school. I did the little ones. Got theirs done. Ch helping Evan in his room. Flipping laundry. Doing that. Lauren pulled in my towels for us. And then Autumn is doing some school work right now. I'm going to check hers. So we're going to keep going. All right, Lauren's making the fun dinner tonight while Mommy has the chicken parmesan, which everyone will be like, it's so much fun. I'm not going to so eat much that. Fun. Spaghetti. <laughs> so they're going to be like, I want Lauren's food. So Lauren is going to make fondue. Yes. Fondue. So we're doing oil fondue, fondue. and then we're doing chocolate. Chocolate. Fondue. Had no idea about the world of fondue, but you just get like, like I remember getting married and getting a tiny pot with the skewers. We did nothing with it. I think, I'm sure I had given the pot away, <laughs> threw it away at one time in my life. Wish I would have kept it. So she is going to do it with, what are you going to do? So you put oil like in the fondue, you put like yeah. oil in the fondue patch, which we'll show you all tonight, and then she's gonna do veggies. We're gonna do veggies, we have beef, we beef. have those New York strip steaks that we got for really cheap at the discount store. Yes, yeah, just lots of different stuff. Lots of different stuff. Bread, and we're gonna use sugar, uh, sugar. Okay, sugar. Got it. I love it. So you're gonna wash her, wash her hands. When you see her hands, and they're like, those aren't Amy's hands. And so Lauren's hands. Yeah, she's gonna do this, and I'm gonna go do laundry because I'm gonna do something else. So Jaden is doing cheese. Um, she's filling the cheese in the bags because I didn't do that before the freeze, and I probably should have. But now I'm going to for this next freeze. And then Brooklyn's writing her journal. Remember, I told you every day I'm gonna do one journal so then I can focus on getting that done. So I wrote basically wrote a little letter to her about what she's done over the last year and a half because it's been that long. And then I wrote all her favorites. So I put like. Color, movie, um, number, not number, color, movie, yeah, number. season, food, season, name, activity, activity. all yeah. those things that a whole, um, like the notebook, and then she fills it in herself, and then I wrote questions like what, what I wish for the most, what kind of desires is God putting in my heart, people think I am, I think I am, and then she answers <laughs> it herself, and then she's going to write a letter to herself, so dear future self, and then she's going to fill in the rest. So each of the kids are going to do those that they can, and then... Um, I'll have their little memory. So, okay, here's Lauren. She's gonna do food. I'm gonna go fold towel. No, put laundry away. <laughs>
Okay, we were just gonna go ahead to the park and Stephen came in and he went to go pull a tree limb that was on the ground and he's like, he's like, oh, he's got tree sap on his hands and tree sap is not a good thing for a little boy to get on his hands. He does not like anything in his hands. So, he was upset because he was trying all this um, soap and everything and I said, ooh, I said, let's go get Mama's Norwex towels and see if we can get the tree sap off. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's see, what do you think, Stephen? Is it coming off? Is that hand still sticky? Okay, let's wipe where it's sticky. Where's the sticky? Right here? Can we get it? Does that one feel sticky? Wait, no. Oh, the mouth of a six-year-old. Okay, that one's, <laughs> he's not like sticky. So Norwex gloss, cake off tree sap. I got Look at that. Can you tell Miss Heather thank you? Thank you, Miss Heather. Thank you. <laughs> Steven's very thankful because he does not like sticky things on his fingers. That. I found the solution. What do you think? Do we get it? And that looks so sticky right there. We're getting the sticky off. Five, one, one, what do you think? One, one, one. Maddie, hold on. Does it feel good? Do we, do we, is that one done? Where you rub where it's sticky. I don't know where it's sticky. And that's blue. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Is it done? Is it a miracle? It's a miracle. It's no, it like smells like a. Excuse me. It smells like tree sap, so I'm gonna have to go wash this now. Okay, we're gonna go to the park now. Lauren is gonna do her fondue pot. We went to the park and we ran. We're like, run for that pound cake, run for those fried pickles. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. It was really good. So she's excited. She's gonna do the fondue pot and show you guys how she does fondue pot.
Okay, so we are gonna finish out this video. That's dinner. That's what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um that I mean nobody's gonna eat it because they're all filled up on oil and fat, which is delicious, but it's so good. good. What's your favorite? I um I like the um um it was um the pickles. The dill pickles and, those were good. Um, the, um, and the bread. The bread. Bread was really good too. I like the Green beans. I think I like the deep fried batter yeah, stuff. What about you? But I like the sausage though. That was sausage, sausage was good was really too. Good. And the mushroom was good too. It was kind of. I was like. Oh, so and I, I like the sausage. So I'm thinking our birth, our birthdays are kind of Lauren, Maddie, and, and I. His birthday is coming up in February here, so we usually do something together. So I feel like we should do a we'll fun party, party, Maddie. We'll Matthew's family over. We'll have a fun time. Fun party. That'll be great. We gotta vlog it though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Send me birthday presents! Send me birthday presents to Lauren! I'll be 21 years old. She'll be 21, I'll be 43. Yes, she won't. She'll be 30. And I will be 8. You'll be 8. So fun. Coming up. So we're going to do that. So we're going to close this. And then um, that's it. It'll be an easy night. So hope you guys enjoyed our video of Monday cleanup after everything. And what else can we do? Oh, the water bottle. Don't forget the water bottle. The um, Keep calm and mommy on. And it's yes. got the water drink thing. That's a very cool thing. And then the cool new bed stuff I got. And our walk. I think that was it today. And fondue fat. And fondue fat. Really, really yummy. I'm glad we walked today. Yes. <laughs> I'll go back tomorrow. Okay, you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, we are going to be done with this video, and then Lauren's like, oh, mom, you need to pull this out for the dessert. So she just made, what did you make? Chocolate? Scotch chocolate. Chocolate scotch fondue, so it's like butterscotch and chocolate. What'd you add to it for the video viewers? What'd you put in your pot? We put in vanilla. Vanilla. So with the scotch. Butterscotch chips. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. And we did vanilla. And vanilla. And condensed sweetened. Condensed sweetened milk. milk. It looks really awesome. So kids are going to have a regular And regular milk too? Just to thin it a little bit? No, it's so good. Awesome. So here they go. They're going to devour. What's your Girl favorite? Scout. Girl Scout cookies, Maddie. What's your favorite? You had a mouthful. Wait, you did. The pound cake. Autumn, what's your favorite? Strawberry. With a marshmallow or just strawberry? Strawberry. Strawberry, Lauren. Pound cake and strawberries. Oh yeah. Pound cake and strawberries, Jaden. Mm -hmm. Girl Scout. Girl Scout. Jensen, what about you? Marshmallows and the Girl Scout cookies and the. Strawberries. Very I good. Like everything. Everything. Brooklyn. Banana strawberry. Banana. Mine is the pineapple. Frozen pineapple. I haven't tasted everything. It's so yeah, delicious. Mix. Real fast before you guys see Jensen, he got a little black eye in his eyeball. Jensen's just been chill him so they don't see your black eye. And so he watched about him and Stephen were in the van and then Stephen came up and whopped him in the head with his I head. Accidentally. On accident. So he's got a big black eye. So that's why he has a black eye when everybody sure, says, baby. how come he's a black eye? That would be why. <laughs> okay. They're going to go back to eating delicious, yummy stuff. Before it's all gone, because it is devouring. Oh, well, I'm I'm you want to eat my napkin. Do it. What? Do whatever we're doing. Favorite yeah, you, you, need a, you need a fondue pot in your life. That is the best combination ever. Which one? Strawberry banana. Oh. Oh my god.